टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट हीमोसाइनिन व्हाट इज हीमोसाइनिन इट इज अ ऑक्सीजन कैरियर पिगमेंट एज वी नो दैट द ऑक्सीजन इज नेसेसरी फॉर द रेस्पिरेशन एंड इट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड बाय वेरियस टाइप ऑफ पिगमेंट्स दैट आर फाउंड इन वेरियस ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर एग्जांपल इन ह्यूमन बॉडी हीमोग्लोबिन एक्ट एज द ऑक्सीजन कैरियर व्हाइल मायोग्लोबिन एक्ट एज ऑक्सीजन रिजर्वायर एंड इन सम मेराइन इनवर्टिब्रेट्स हीमोरिथ्रिन एक्ट एज द ऑक्सीजन कैरियर But in mollusk and orthopods, another type of pigment act as the oxygen carrier. That is called hemocyanin. It is a copper protein. It means the active center in it is a copper atom, not an iron atom. This is most important point about hemocyanin that the active center in it is a copper. So the most important points about hemocyanin are that it is a non-heme protein. It means it does not possess any heme group or a porphyrin ring. It is a dioxin carrier protein that is found in the blood of mollusk and orthopods. Hemocyanin is a protein of higher molar mass, and it consists of several units, like hemoglobin. Its unit. act cooperatively what is cooperativity it means the binding of oxygen to one units affect the binding of other units it means increases its ability towards the oxygen this is called cooperativity if you want to see more about cooperativity you can watch our video and if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel and share it so we comes to hemocyanin in hemocyanin each sub unit has two copper atoms that act as the active center and these two copper atoms can bind one oxygen molecule so when oxygen is not binded to hemocyanin it means when it is in deoxy state the copper is present in plus 1 oxidation state when copper is in plus 1 oxidation state There are ten electrons in the three d orbital. It means it is in d ten state, and in this state, all the electrons are paired. There is no unpaired electrons, and hence the copper in plus one oxidation state is colorless, and hence the deoxy hemocyanin is also a colorless compound. Each copper first atom is present in a roughly tetrahedral arrangement. and it is attached to three styrene residues of protein it may look like this that the copper is present in the center of a tetrahedron and the three corners are occupied by the nitrogen of the styrene residues while the fourth corner will be vacant and this vacancy can be occupied by the oxygen when it combines with oxygen it means when oxyhemocyanin is formed it possesses two copper plus two atoms it means copper is oxidized from plus 1 to plus 2 oxidation state and the two electrons will be given for the reduction of oxygen now copper in plus 2 oxidation state will possess nine electrons in the 3d orbital it means it will be in t9 state and there will be one unpaired electron and this unpaired electron is responsible for the blue color of copper second and hence oxyhemocyanin will be blue colored pigment but it does not show any epr signal it should show because of unpaired electron but it does not show any epr signal why this is due to strong anti ferromagnetic coupling what is anti ferromagnetic coupling it means the spin of two unpaired electrons of two copper atoms are in opposite direction and hence it cancels each other and hence it does not show any epr signal now we see about the binding of dioxin dioxin binds symmetrically between two copper atoms it means it binds to both the copper atoms and symmetrically so its binding may be either of this type it may take this type of structure or it may be of this type or it may also can take this type of structure any type of binding can be found in the hemocyanin so this is all about the structure of hemocyanin and its binding if you like this video 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड प्लीज शेयर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो